volvulus is defined as rotation of bowel rotation of bowel on its axis about the new topic that is volvulus and this is probably the last cause that we are going to discuss for intestinal obstruction now what is the concept of volvulus first of all you have to understand this volvulus is defined as rotation of bowel rotation of bowel on its axis simple rotation of bowel on its axis now let us see if this is the bowel how this volvulus occurs now this is the mesentery of this bowel this is the mesentery of this bowel you know the rotation can happen along this axis yeah so this is the axis over which the rotation will happen and if the rotation happens what will be the final image like it will be like this so there is a twist at the level of this mesentery and this has resulted in a closed obstruction so if you see this is a closed intestinal obstruction this is a closed loop obstruction so what is a volvulus in a simple language it's a closed loop obstruction why it is a closed loop obstruction try to see this end it's locked try to see this end it's locked and this is the most dangerous thing that can happen why because a closed loop obstruction will have a rapid progression yes rapid progressive distension and as there is rapid progressive distension there is a very high chance of gangrene and hence perforation and you know if a bowel perforates there will be fecal and peritonitis and chances of survival of a patient in any fecal peritonitis is very 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 dismal now what could be the reasons behind this volvulus and formation yeah so what could be the causes behind the volvulus if you talk about the simple causes yeah i can draw them in the diagram so this is a narrow mesentery so a narrow mesentery a narrow mesentery is very important yeah this is also narrow mesentery concept is known as dolico mesentery dolico mesentery so any narrow mesentery related volvulus is known as dolico mesentric volvulus narrow mesentery related volvulus is known as dolico mesentery then it could be because of impacted stool it could be because of impacted stool this impacted stool will be acting like uh, an axis so over this also the rotation can happen the another thing is it can occur because of any band or you can say adhesions so it can happen over adhesions over adhesions it can be associated with meckel's it can be associated with meckel's diverticulum yes so there are lot of reasons lot of reasons it can be associated with a tumor or a mass mass or a tumor so anything can cause volvulus let us try to understand what are the types of volvulus what are the types of rotations that we can see students when we talk about the concept of rotation in a volvulus there are two types of rotation it could be a clockwise or it could be an anti clockwise rotation